the customers that needed maybe an inventory control system, they needed better controls. And what we saw out there was just going to be pretty expensive for them to deploy a traditional WMS product. It wasn't unusual to see costs billion dollars plus. I mean, they can be very, very expensive, very cumbersome, very difficult to deploy on the floor. Those applications or products just didn't fit some of the clients who were in smaller conventional warehouses. A lot of the clients that we work with are innovative companies. They might be uh, entrepreneurs that have a small business or small medium business. That price tag in my experience was, you know, at the low end is maybe half a million dollars. They just couldn't afford it. That light went off that said, I wonder if the iPad could give us a user interface that was, uh, you know, highly interactive, highly visual. And, you know, that was the, that was the creative process that started this need. The RF gun for us was really kind of counterproductive to the goals we wanted for the customer. They they deploy with an RF gun that had a very, I'd say maybe outdated clunky interface. And that person had to go out there with that RF gun and pick product. They normally didn't get any quicker. You know, the, a lot of times they got the inventory control, but they might get, you know, they might get slower and actually production. 12 years ago, some of my first site visits we'd go to and we'd talk about deploying WMSs, uh, third-party WMSs, and we'd talk about, oh, we're going to have to charge you, you know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 just to do a requirements definition of the software. And that was going to take six months plus to do that requirements definition. And I was thinking, these clients don't have the time or the money for us to spend six months trying to write requirements, and they don't have the knowledge to help write the requirements. And there was a real gap in the industry there. And as we looked at that, as you mentioned, we talked about deploying the iPad on the floor. Well, people kind of laughed at us, like, why would you take an iPad, you know, a, a kid's game product out on the floor to do the logistics with? And internally, you know, sitting down with the head of management team, and we looked at that, and he kind of rolled his eyes like, who's this guy you brought in to work for us, Tim? Yeah, particularly where we would talk about, well, you're going to have to buy an RF gun or a handgun, and they were talking three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 just for each user device on the floor. Those were costs that, you know, medium to small companies couldn't afford. And there wasn't an ROI for that. And right. to be able to look at that application and say, we've got something that's simple. There's not a long requirements process. And it's something that we can deploy in a month or two. By the time you're working on require requirements with a third party WMS, we can actually come in and deploy our product on the floor. Right. And that was the great thing is paralleling that with the logistic process. We defined the requirements for them as we learned about their business, the logistic process. Oh, 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 oh.